What's up, folks? I'm Jay Barino. This is the Antioch Chronicles Remastered Custom Campaign for StarCraft II. We're heading into mission four, one, two, three, four. Indeed, asterisk. Okay, so this is either going to be following Protoss again or something with Charlie Mox. Uh, we did find Trench, so maybe we're going to be breaking back into New Brisbane or we're going to be following whatever's going on with Tremalis. Uh, Nana Tyrodin was like, hey, someone's going to betray you. And like an idiot, Tremalis never followed up on that. So let's see if uh, something terrible is going to happen to him inevitably because he was too stupid to... Okay, never mind. It looks like this is going to be Trench. Mox and Gurney built New Brisbane with the proceeds from, from the proceeds from their lucrative mercenary career. career. Sensor shielded with the state of the art security systems, it should have easily slipped beneath the Kelmorian Combine's radar. After Rockwell discovered a tracking bug in Mox's quarters, the commander was ejected from his own station. Though Gurney, always in Mox's corner, promised to sort out the mystery, Mox took the master the matter into his own hands, contracting the elusive operative known as Trench. The story took some time to explain, but Trench now has a solid handle on the situation and is ready to make his entrance. Sometimes I have trouble reading these because the text bleeds into the background and my eyes sort of cross as I'm reading it. Since going freelance, Trench has worked for a number of organizations, but never the Kelmorian Combine. I am kind of curious who the traitor is, though. Well, you asked for the long version. No, no, that's fine. You told me everything I need to know. All right, have you got the security codes? Yeah, I have to admit it. With everything you've given me, it's gonna be a snap getting in there. Don't underestimate my security forces. Or should I say Gurney's security forces? Small people on New Brisbane. Don't worry, they won't be smart enough. Well, just be careful. Yes, mother. I'll contact you when I've found out what's going on. Be back before you know it. Oh, I hope so. Why is Ian Anduin even still with us? I don't understand, like, he just showed up out of nowhere in Mission 2 and he's still following us around. I mean, and why did he help us in the first place? And Mox was suspicious of him helping us and he's like, oh, don't worry about it, I'll help you. So I wonder if it's him. I don't know how he would have planted the thing in Mox's cabin. Alternatively, it might just be straight up Gurney, and then Gurney is also the person that Nana Tyridin was talking about betraying Tremalis. Maybe Gurney is the one who's working for the Combine. I don't know. Let's go. This place just cracked right open. All right. Let's see what's in here. Damaging sentry bots will set off the alarm. Use lockdown first to disable them. What do you want this time? Permanently cloaked. 300 hit points is good. And we don't have to worry about energy for cloaking. So we can lock down three times. We do have snipe, which does not cost energy. We also do enough damage straight up to kill a marine, so we wouldn't even need to use snipe. I'm going to go and hold fire, because I really don't want to like be drawing too much attention. Tenfold, Let's go ahead friend. and bump up the game speed. Thank you don't to, to the lovely commenter twice. who pointed out the hotkey to do that, which is just the plus key or minus key to change the speeds, which is fantastic. Now I know I don't have Someone's to go into the options. Paid. So I'm wondering, like, should I be killing these people? I mean... They're considered enemies. Anyone's paradigm Look at that, I can one-shot them. I feel bad, though. Like, they're technically Mox's guys. I mean, they're not. Mox Don't took all the people to loyal with, twice. like, loyal to him with him. Someone's okay, I actually, I quite like the layout of the inside here. This looks Info, like, um, back in the saddle from Hots. I don't know what that tile set is. It's like the Umojin facility Someone's tile set. Alrighty. Though overall, I, I do like how it looks. I've liked how most of these missions look. The terraining is a very, very strong part of these uh, of these remakes. Whatever you say. Okay. Don't have to ask me twice. It sounds like Trent is wearing Darth Vader's helmet. He's got like a very heavy breathing to him. Okay, let's be careful. I see some detection. That's a sentry bot. Where did it go? Let's lock him down. Ah, okay. Well, what was that about them? What, what was that about them setting off the alarm? Well, it doesn't matter. I can kite these guys. I, again, I feel bad killing these guys. I'm wondering if I just need to lock them down. I'm thinking you're just supposed to lock them down and not kill them. So it's... Well, it said you have to lock them down first, didn't they? So that's a little confusing. I should be able to outrange these. Yeah, ghosts can outrange these. I like how the heroes have bigger models, too. I don't know why. I think that's, that's neat. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and kill everyone. I feel bad about it, but I'm going to... But, I mean, that's that's like saying all of these guys were traitors, and that's arguable. Just because they didn't leave with mocks, I mean, it's more because they wanted the steady employment. Might as well try to use some snipes here, even though we don't have to. Overall, this is not much of a challenge, only because I can outrange the turrets, I can one-shot the marines. Uh, though, at the same time, I don't know if this is going to get more challenging later or not. 
door is locked. Okay, we can't go that way. I won't kill the SCVs. You guys are, I guess, innocent. I don't know. Door is also locked. So let's come in here then. All right, let's be careful. The thing is, when the doors open, you can't see behind them until they're open. So I think what I want to do is open the doors and then back out. Hey, who the hell are you? I'm the Sandman, jackass. All right, yeah, indiscriminately murdering people. All right, let's uh, lock down. Now we can kill it. No other Marines coming. So, I... It kind of seems like there's a bunch of goofy... I took some damage. Like a bunch of goofy pop culture references from the 90s. Uh, very similar to Mission 2. And that's actually what uh, the map makers had said was... It looks like there's a beacon up there. Was that there's a lot of weird pop culture references in the Terran missions. So I guess get used to that. Okay, here we go. Access code denied. Sure, baby. You say that now, but just wait till I start sweet talking ya. Access code denied. Damn. Oh, great job, Mox. Nice codes you gave me. I guess they must have changed them since you left. Makes sense. Alright, let's see. Next terminal is down the hall. Let's try that one. I quite like the voice acting for Trench, it's pretty good. Uh, the only one that I haven't particularly liked is Ian Anduin. I think the Scottish accent is tricky. Hey, you're not allowed in, uh, here? Um, uh, this is Bob. Uh, we have an intruder alert. Hey, is this thing on? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Huh? Here's something I ask of all my victims. Uh, really? <laughs> nah. Saw it in a movie once. Seem to remember the sequels really suck, though. Oh, well. I don't know what that reference is, but I have a feeling if someone told me, I would remember. Okay, so he said there was another one down the hall. Is this a door? Okay, we can go through here. There's no other way to go, right? We have to go this way. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, there's a there's an enemy. There's a, a bot. All right, well, we got a ton of health. I don't know how long this mission's going to last, so I do have to be a little careful. See, it's because you can't see behind the through the doors. You don't have any vision. Uh, lock it down. I guess let's just kill it because there's no other units, so we can just get rid of it. I think it's funny that those things have shields. I don't get it. Uh, operations. This seems... Is it because the alarm is going? Or we can just continue to murder these people. Okay, now we can go through here. And another beacon. Here we go. Okay, take three. Access code accepted. That's right, darling. Now... It says here there's a classified file room in the west wing. Let's just unlock that while we're at it, and bingo. Should be easy pickings. Cool, so we're going to go get the files and then, I guess, probably escape? One thing, I guess, just talking about voice acting. Uh, one thing that I find about voice acting is you'll notice, in my opinion, the... Uh, is there another turret on the other side here? No. I feel like the Protoss vo voice acting is really, really, really good. Uh, but the Terran voice acting, while not bad, uh, you'll notice, I think the difference is a lot of people, I mean, I haven't, there has, isn't too much custom voice acting, but generally when people do voice acting, custom voice acting for Terran units, they tend to, they tend to read a little faster, whereas I, I've noticed that the, uh, the Protoss, in general, it feels a lot better paced. Just killing everything here. It just, in general, feels much better paced, if that makes any sense. So, like, when Gurney talks, for example, not Trent, not Trench as much, which is why I like Trench, but sometimes Mox, sometimes Gurney, sometimes Trench, you notice when they speak, it feels a little rushed. And when you're doing voice acting, and this is why I don't think I could ever voice act, it's just because I talk very quickly, and I have to really actively tell myself talk slower, and maybe I'd be able to do better, but overall, I think uh, the Protoss, like when Termala speaks, it feels very, very pronounced, very deliberate, and I find that to be what makes good voice acting. I mean, obviously, the filters over the voice is very, very important. I think the filters on all the Terran voices are very good, but, like, I think Ernie's a good example. Sometimes he talks very quick, and it... I think that is when voice acting isn't as good. Finally. Now, let's see what secrets you've got for me. Hmm. Looks like a coded transmission from the station to a Kelmorian official. Date's pretty recent. Oh, wow. Oh, man. If this doesn't rock your world, I don't know what does. Unauthorized entry detected. Oh, beautiful. 
Tea party's over. Time to get the hell out of here. We got an access tunnel here? Yes. God, I love symmetrical station designs. See, overall, like, that segment right there of voice acting was very, very, very good. It was very well paced, too. And if you go back and you listen to all the official Blizzard voice acting from StarCraft 1 and 2, it's, it's much... It's much slower in general, I think. It's actually a lot slower than people talk in, in real life sometimes. All right, let's lock this thing down. That is too much health. I'm just going to ignore that. Lock him down. Lock... Okay, never mind. I was going to... Oh, I hit lockdown. I meant to snipe. Uh, so there are definitely more units here. I have to be more careful. Uh, but theoretically, I'm almost done with this mission. It's pretty short. Is there any other way to go? Maybe this door is open now? I'm going to assume this door was locked. We're coming through the other side. I uh, can't really see in here. Kill him. Don't have to ask me to Kill him. Whatever and... Someone's okay, lockdown. Alright, that's okay. We don't have to worry about that. We have enough energy for another lockdown if necessary. Let's just get out of here. Well, we're away from that thing, and that's really all that matters. Lock that down. Snipe it. How do they see me? How do they see... Oh, it's because I'm in a scan... I'm in scan range. We can kite these guys. No, 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 no. Just kill the Marine. Whatever you say. All right, well, that thing's also locked down. I'm just going to kill it, actually. They might scan me again, but everything's dead. It seems like when the scan goes off, it gets all its shields back. Yeah, I think it's just for, like to make sure that the scan actually goes off and that you're detected and that other... Oh, God. Other units can kill you. All right, so I don't know how you can avoid taking damage to those things. That might be the way out. I'm going to check down all these little sides just to see. Someone's getting paid. I assume this is the end of the mission, because in Brood War you couldn't do like multiple maps in the same mission like you can in StarCraft 2. Not multiple maps, but like different sections of a map. Uh, let's see, unless we're going to get warped somewhere else, but this might just be the end. Let's see. Hey Sergeant, I mean, uh, General. Just got back. Any of you? Some Dabronian security just picked up an intruder. You're kidding me. Where is he now? Kanye just got away. Comsat just picked up a ship already leaving the system. Son of a... Hey, McFly! What are you waiting for? Get a ship prep for launch. What for? To find out who's been going through our laundry. See, that made both of them sound really suspicious there for a moment. That was the end of the mission. Very, very short. So I hope you enjoyed my rant about voice acting. I'm not trying to be critical of this in particular, because, again, there's not much voice acting in general for custom campaigns, because it's very hard to do right. And pacing is, I think, what makes voice acting go from good to great, not from bad to good. So bad to good is like the, the filters that are put over the voices, like uh, like the, the Protoss, and uh, when Gurney talks, it's got kind of like that... that mechanical filter over it because he's talking through like a comm link. That's what makes voice acting go from bad to good. And then good to great, I think, has to do with the actual reading of the lines. And uh, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with this. And again, the fact that there isn't much, like Subjection had voice acting and this has voice acting, those might be the only two. I hope I'm not forgetting any, but I'm pretty sure those were the only two that I've really played with, with like full voice acting. And both are, I think, very well done in terms of voice acting. Alrighty, so... Yep, that's it. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.